What's up y'all, Jeffrey Tennis Coach here. Thanks for checking out another video. As in today, we are going to be doing how you are supposed to take out the grommets and exchange them out for new grommets in your tennis racket and when you're supposed to do that. If you like this content about tennis, you definitely wanna stay in for the whole video, watch the entire video, but also make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button for the YouTube algorithm as it will help to share and show this video to other people that are typing in questions just like this. So without further ado, I'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna get right to it. Today's video, we are going to be doing this Jonex racket right here, using these grommets right here. Uh, you can buy from your either local tennis store or you can buy it from you know one of the tennis shops online. Uh, the tools that you will be needing this right here that you get in your stringing set, if you were to do this by yourself, can use a nice little pointer. Uh, you wanna be careful with this because you can poke your finger, but you don't also wanna uh, damage the grommets as well. So buying the grommets from your local store, you will be spending about $15. Now, people may ask, when do you need to change the grommets out in your tennis racket? You should change your grommets out every about 12 strings, depending on how advanced you are as a player, how much you're playing. I pretty much don't go by if you play five times a day you need to change it five times a year if you are an advanced player you know when it feels good when you hit the ball and when it doesn't feel good so you know if your strings are loose if you're pulling your main strings across and your strings are super loose you know at that point that you need to change your strings and if it's about that 12th time that you've used your racket you may want to go ahead and use a, a different grommet set so buy some new grommets and change your grommets as well new fresh grommets will keep your strings fresh and longer lasting than old ones because the old ones are already damaged and could have some cracks in it that could cut the string as well and you want to make sure you look out for that another question that people are asking is uh, how often should you get your racket strung and like i just stated you should get your racket strung once you know that your strings are loose when you pull the main strings let's get on with this video and i'm going to show you guys how you change the grommets all right guys like i just told you the tools we're going to need is one two three we'll need some wet wipes all right so the first step you're going to want to do is which is basically the easiest part is taking off the bottom piece which can pretty much be easy it may seem like oh this thing is a uh, pretty good uh, it doesn't look like it needs to be taken off but yeah it needs to be taken off so take that thing away all right the next thing you want to do is not put your grommets in yet because you want to start from the bottom up now you may think it's easy where you can just pop these suckers out ah, and it's gonna be easy. They are not gonna be easy. What you wanna do is use the other side of your uh, clamper and just push it out. Just give it a little nudge as you push those babies out. I like to use nail clippers. That makes it a little bit easier to get the edges off. After you get the first one, it's pretty easy pickings from here. You just take your time and you pull the grommets out, making sure that you do not damage the bracket. The head guard is like the last one to take out. Next thing you wanna do is now your guard piece, pop the first one out, and this one can be fairly easy to take out using your pliers. Grab them and pull them out. And now you're gonna have a plain racket, you know, which looks pretty good still. So this is when I told you you guys are gonna need baby wipes. Because using the baby wipes, now what you're gonna do is when giving a racket back, you wanna make sure you go ahead and clean that racket as best as possible, polish it all up as best as possible. Polish it all up. Make sure you get all in between. Make it look really good. All right, after you've cleaned it up, you gotta look in all brand spanking new because that's basically what it's gonna look like. 
Uh, now you can take out your grommets and begin to start them. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do guys is take your bottom piece that you have and this is gonna be the first part that you're gonna put in. So that's the easy one is you're just gonna just snap it in right in the bottom and boom, it goes right in. You have to be able to put the top head guard in first uh, and then after you put the top head guard in first, what you're gonna then put in is the side pieces after that. The first part can be uh, pretty, pretty easy. Uh, it's just a basic, it's just a basic snapping in where it's supposed to go for the first one. Make sure your grommets are in the hole. And if they are not, what you can do is use your other tool and just do a little bit of wiggle, 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 pickle, 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 and you'll get that piece inside of the grommet. So if you notice your other ones are not in there, just stick it in and wiggle it until it goes in. Sometimes I use this piece, but more than likely I use my, uh, my pointer because doesn't uh, get the holes bigger so I, all I do is I just look until I see that the grommet piece is uh, right in the hole and I'll take my pointer and I'll just push it down till it pops in and then boom all of my side pieces on my grommet are in do the same way I just taught you which would be go until you see that the grommet is almost in there and then wiggle now it's okay if they do come out just a little bit because remember you still have to take your uh, your head piece guard and snap that one in and then make sure they all go in the same hole if they don't it's because if they don't it's because you just gotta take it and wiggle it a little bit get it inside the hole now it's time for your side pieces as this one could be a little bit hard as well start with your bottom piece that uh, that you're going to start with first right here and work your way up Now on this one, this is where you're definitely gonna wanna use a little bit of the wiggle room action. You can use either your pliers or your pointer. They both will get the job done. Just make sure you push down and apply just a little bit of pressure it doesn't take much you just want to make sure that you get that piece in there and they should just snap in most rackets are a lot easier than so. after you finish your one side you want to make sure you flip the racket around do the other side And just like that, once you connect them all, you're all good. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Please give this video a like, uh, a thumbs up, and please subscribe to the channel uh, so other people can view this video for the YouTube algorithm just like you. Uh, thanks, guys, and take care, and see you guys on the court. Peace.